good evening. Um, this video is intended to show you how similar the Apache, Hickory Apache language and Navajo language, how similar they are. My name is Terry Teller. I'm from the Navajo tribe. I speak Navajo and I just like to compare languages. I'm always interested to hear how similar our language is compared to Hickory Apache, White Mountain Apache, San Carlos Apache, to hear how similar they are. So for those of you who are like me and just want to hear similarities, this video is for you. A lot of the um, sound clips that I'm going to be using are, are going to be taken from Native American Calling. Native American Calling basically puts out a native word of the day. They give a word, they show how it's used, and in the past they've used Hickory Apache for their examples. So I'm going to be using those sound clips as my examples. Now the way I wrote out the sentences in Hickory Apache, they're based on how I hear them and how I would write it using kind of the Navajo sounding intonation. So for those of you guys who write in Hickory Apache and don't agree with how I write it, <laughs> that's just the best I could do based on what it sounds like to me. Um, so that's that. This isn't intended to be a very, very descriptive um, video on how they're different going into um, different sentence structures. This is just meant to show. It's meant to show how similar these languages are. Um, so I hope you enjoy this. Um, let's get started with our first example. Today's word is peje, which means ant. A person might say, she peje dashit in joe. Translated, my aunt is nice to me. So, in Navajo, we have a similar word for ant. Um, we would say shibije, shibije. That would be the Navajo word for ant. Now, when you use the word shibije, it specifically means your aunt from your dad's side. Shibije, that's your, your aunt. Um, if it's from your mom's side, you would say shamayaje. So it's very different. That's my aunt from my mom's side, shamayaje. So if I were to say the same sentence, my aunt is nice to me in Navajo, um, I would say my aunt is nice to me. So sounds similar to how they say it in Hickory Apache. Today's word is atole, which means blue cornmeal. A person might say, Tanta atole shelpesh. Translated, I cooked blue cornmeal this morning. So in Navajo, our word for blue cornmeal is different. It's not adoli, but instead we say um, tra nil or tra nashkij. So to say the same sentence in Navajo, you would say abinda tra nil shelpej. Abinda tra nil shelpej. I boiled blue cornmeal this morning. Um, we have a word that's similar to doli, which is doli, which means bluebird. So if you say abinda doli shelpej, it sounds like you're saying I boiled, I boiled the bluebird this morning. <laughs> Today's word is ishkiye, which means boy. A person might say ishkiye dan deze, translated, the boy is tall. So in Navajo, we don't say ishkiye for boy. In Navajo, we just say ishki. Ashki sounds similar, but it's distinctively different. So to say the same word in Navajo or same phrase in Navajo, you would say Ashki Ainanez. Ashki Ainanez. The boy is tall. So similar but different. Today's word is Sitliten, which means coyote. A person might say Tleta Sitliten Dasaneta Echa. Translated, last night there were many coyotes crying. In Navajo, our word for coyote isn't setleten. Instead, our word is entirely different. The word in Navajo is ma'i. Ma'i. So if you were to use a word like setleten on the Navajo reservation, most people wouldn't know what you're saying because it's not a word on the Navajo reservation. Other than that, the other, sent, the other words in the sentence are very similar. So to say the same phrase in Navajo, last night there were many coyotes crying, 
you would say Kleta mai lago da chahent e Kleta mai lago da chahent e So Kleta and da hicha are similar um, they sound similar, the, the word structure is similar, so there's similarities between Apache and Navajo in this sentence. Today's word is be, which means deer. A person might say, be hanata jekonan kai. Translated, we are hunting for deer. So our word um, for deer is the same as in Apache. It's be, be. It's the same word. Um, which is um, which isn't surprising because I would think things like water, fire, house would be the same in in Apache Navajo. Things that are used all the time, things that have been around for a long time. I, I, I'm not surprised that they're similar. So um, the Navajo word is the same as Apache B, but the sentence structure is a little different. So to say the same phrase in Navajo, we are hunting for deer. We would say B Handelje. So, similar but different. Today's word is zaz, which means elk. A person might say, zaz da lane na kai, da lae mi de dan de ze. Translated, a lot of elks are roaming. One had real long antlers. So in Navajo, we don't say zaz. In Navajo, we have a similar word for elk, and that's ze, ze, elk. Um, so, in looking at the sentence structure, comparing Apache, Hickory Apache to Navajo, it's very, very similar. Um, a lot of the words here are similar. So, to say the same phrase, um, a lot of elks are roaming, you would say, ze, tlangonakai. Ze langonakai, and to say one had really long answer <laughs> antlers, you would say tlae bide anishnez, tlae bide anishnez. So similar, some words are similar here. Um, this one kind of shows the similarity a lot between Apache and Navajo. The word is similar, sentence structure similar. Today's word is tata, which means father. A person might say, Shitata Dachene na Izi. Translate it, my father works every day. Dada, Dada, I like that one. In Navajo, to say father, you would say, Shije, Shije. Um, some places say Shitra, especially if you're talking about deities like um, Father Sky or like if you're talking about um, Father God, then you would say uh, Shitra. But most of the time, when you're talking about your own father, your dad, you would say shije. Um, here, the sentence structure is very different. So to say the same phrase, my father works every day, you would say shije et a kui jenavnish. Shije et a kui jenavnish. So different here, different. Today's word is ishteten, which means girl. A person might say, Translated, the girl is pretty. So in Navajo, we have a similar word to the Hickory Apache word, Shteden, for girl. In Navajo, we say et ed, et ed. So, sounds similar. Um, the sentence structure is a little similar. To say the same phrase in Navajo, the girl is pretty, you would say et ed a nejone. Et ed a nejone. So, sounds similar. And that's pretty much what I want to show you with the similarities. Again, we weren't going to go into details on how they differ. I'm not an expert in Hickory Apache at all. I just kind of like to compare Navajo to Apache because they're sister languages. And again, this is just Hickory Apache. It's going to sound different if you hear it from the White Mountain Apache Reservation or the San Carlos Apache Reservation or Tonto Apache. Um, it's going to have a different sound altogether. This was just meant to show you similarities between the languages, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in hearing more Hickory Apache languages, check out the website on Native America Calling, where they have plenty of clips, more than what we've shown here, and some in other languages as well, including Navajo. I hope you enjoyed this little clip. I just wanted to 
compare the languages and have fun. I love languages. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good evening. Shall go, 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 go